Microphone? There you go. Audio should be good. All right. So we're on chapter six. We should finish this up today though. Today shouldn't be, it should probably be about four hours-ish. It shouldn't be that bad. Most of it's gonna be us uh, traveling anyway. No, I can't help, man. You can die. Thanks. Bye. Love you. Is that Steve Blum? Dad? Papa? Hold on. I want to make sure the audio is. Every time I open it. Yep. It's going to be so loud. I'm scared. Oh, okay, we're good. There you go. There's your audio. Fuck. Why did my audio in my left ear just like freak out? Sound settings, manage sound devices. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, no, not you. You can get turned up though a bit. There you go. Hey, you're maxed out. I might just honestly need to get new headphones too. But that'll be future me's issue. Headphones are uh, a very cheap, quick fix. You can get those really anywhere. Problem with building a new computer right now is if I needed to, uh, yep. to begin the parts. Everything's out of stock right now. Hey man. Not sure if there's still a delay, but it was it was almost perfect on uh, Call of Duty. Recording's fine. I know the recordings are because I checked those this morning and last night. Hey, you're okay, girl. But I know those will be good. Now. 
<laughs> well, I figured out how to get your honor up. Hey, partner. Greetings, friend. You must like living here. Hey there. You got a problem with me? Hey there, mister. Why are you doing this? Hi there, mister. Excuse me, partner. Oh, yeah. This is where you, uh... You get sick. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I'm fine. Mister, are you okay? Are you okay, mister? <laughs> mister, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. I don't want to go to a doctor. Let me die. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. Don't let me cough blood in your mouth. Then you'll get it. You'll be infected. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> so yeah, after I'll be fine in a minute. After this game, I don't know what I'm gonna be playing. I'm fine. Nearly there, just around this corner. Wait, hold on. Hey, mister, hold up. Now you head in there, friend. You got it. Go on. Anything for you, random stranger who helped me off help me up off the side of the road. Can I help you? Uh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. <laughs> it's Dr. Mister. <laughs> oh, I'm see sorry. it. Oh, shit. I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let the... Uh, sure. Thank you. Now... What's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard the Well, this is still chapter five. Is there any blood? So it's weird. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. 
I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Yeah, but wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. We can't change what's done. We can only move on. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. He did well. He did well. You only gain the benefit of limited, a limited amount of food and drink. Okay. <coughs> Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now. Yeah, yeah this is still chapter. It's still logging into chapter doing, five. Guama. Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? So maybe we aren't finishing this today. I thought Jesus. we were still on fucking chapter what six. began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Well. Follow me. Just give me one sec. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they eventually do a uh, Red Dead Three, but plan? I highly doubt it. Well. I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. 
that's exactly what we're going to do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he uh, thinks he's pilot, probably. a bit of a tour. <laughs> he's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on. Mm. Hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them. To what? the vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like what? Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you two would get on. <sighs> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that. What? Belt. Excuse me? For the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. It is really fucking pretty, though. Keep on going. You're doing splendidly. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes, heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side pump. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, didn't she? Okay, we're getting a little high now. Okay. Let it even back out. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see from miles now. And Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italianate. 
My brother's called Valvasario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> and just shut up. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. Why do you have a boiled egg in your pocket? Recalling the ablutions discussion. Well, just say the word. Why do you have a boiled egg? So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I didn't exactly. Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. Whoa, then. No need to go any higher. How far are we? Oh, still pretty fucking far. So, see that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Nano. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Here, take over. And keep us well away. I'll do my best. Where are... Okay. Isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. Please hurry. Nope, not there. I'm shaking like a leaf. Hi, friend. Hi, uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Oh, you're uh, fine. Grow up. Done now. Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Oh, uh, looks like it. Trying to get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. 
I'm starting to rather enjoy this. <laughs> Are you? Oh, I timed that poorly. A shot. Oh no. Bye, Arturo. Love you. Let's get out of here. Arthur, hurry. Oh, yeah, it is tap. Okay. I can't hold on much longer. I got you, Sadie. Coming out of the woods there. 
Hi, dickheads. My corpse Look at those cowards. Yeah, you run. I'll catch up with you soon enough. Looks like we made it. That'll show them. Stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. That's nice. Oh, did it not? Oh, uh, maybe it finished? Hey, Mr. Horsey. What is this up here? Oh. I honestly think that's him leaving. So I know you start losing people. You poor thing. Much better. Ooh, this one's destroyed. Make it look nice and shiny like. All right, let's go.
Sorry, I was talking about dinner with my girlfriend. Alright. Yeah. Mm. Alright, this is actually chapter 6. Now, yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna fucking end up finishing this fucking a day, which makes me mad. But, it is what it is. So, maybe Saturday we might try and, um... Saturday, I don't think I work till 5. So, I think Saturday or Sunday we might try and finish it, maybe, possibly. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur Taylor. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now, let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well I ain't the crime sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you both. Shut up. We'll land the boat in the morning. When the prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot. Look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? Oh, I thought I was actually gonna have to row all the way there. I was gonna be so fucking sad. Okay, bring us over. God, you're dumb. We good? Uh, Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Stay low. Hi. Oh, is that the Carcano? Oh no, rolling block. All right. Where's John? Yeah, I don't need a sniper. Oh, hold on. This. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Ah, uh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go for our boy. Okay. Hey, you're in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got rid of the sniper rifle. Hold on. So you have to uh, shoot them from there. Well, that's really dumb, but okay. Okay, come on up. All right. Nice. 
Didn't even need a sniper rifle. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. John? Nope, that is not John. He just has really long hair like John. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You. Mister. You know mm. John Marsden? I, he ain't... He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. Why don't you put the fucking gun down, asshole? You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? He ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> hey, why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So... Where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Eston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... They're not gonna let you do this. Now let me do it's shit. It's up to you, my friend. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't! Hi. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's inside today. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. I can't count that high, so you're gonna have to, John. Or er, Arthur. Uh, Milliken, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. Number one. For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. Shut up, Milliken. Hey. hey, John, love you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Milliken here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Let's clear these and make a run for it. Bye. Cover us! Joe, let's move! Okay, let's go! Been a while, John. You tell me. Who took you 
so long. I'll explain later. Is that you with the blue? Damn it. Asshole. Oh my god, you're gonna die. They get one lucky shot, I'm dead. Bye. Oh, am I running now? I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you, the Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome, you're imagining. 
So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us. What then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. No. Is it here? You go fuck. Thinking of, uh, I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Bye. Why am I wanting to dead or alive here? Um, we'll go to the post office and see if we can pay off the bounty, but I don't think we have one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. We ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind. Yeah. I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. Your corner friend's just wearing, wearing that. Enough to Dutch. Problem is, I ain't sure he cares who he's fighting.
Get you all nice and pretty. Put that gun down. There's a big shootout with the Murphy gang in the caves at Beaver Hollow. Um, can I get another rifle yet? Springfield, Bolt, Bowling Block, Carcano. Stock oh. up on all the ammo because it's like $2,000. Get more rifle ammo. Oh yeah, not much of it, but okay. Let right. me see. Take your time, detective. Customize. Kept that weapon looking as nice as the day you bought it. Well done. Ah, you have kept that perfectly maintained. I love to see. Why don't that. I have this modifier? Right. We could change any components of this firearm you don't like. The trigger, the hammer, the barrel. You'll see an immediate improvement. Oh, can't I make it gold? You know, this weapon would look even more impressive with some engraving. What do you think? Yeah, I can make everything gold. Yeah, no. 
I'll just rather the uh, default. Oh, can I make this gold? <laughs> sure. I could put some excellent um, on okay. this if you're interested. All right. Back to it. Thanks, Mister. Where are you at, Micah? Why do you follow? No, why you follow? Shut up, Micah. No. Okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk. And they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here. And ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Art. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur. It's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur, and I want out, and he, he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best, 
I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Bye. Which fine, Mike. Come on, this way, up the stairs. Stay with me, Arthur. Cornwall's men are all over the place. Follow me and stay close. We had enough feet on us before. Now we're gonna be torn, stretch. This is the only way. You'll see. Trust me. Trust me. You sure you got the lungs for this, Morgan? Shut the hell up! We got more up ahead. Clear us some space. You getting tired back there, Morgan? Oh my fucking god. We guess Micah died? Yep. Micah and all of his shit talking and he's the one who died.
Hi. You said this wasn't a revenge mission. It wasn't. We got what we came for. Those papers. More up top here. Gun them down. And let's get the hell out of this place. Okay. Interesting social call. No, oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are going to need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. My horsey. This is crazy. Just a social call. Was that the second mission? Let's find out. Uh, yeah, second mission. Two, four, six. Eight, ten, twelve. We have thirteen more missions, yeah. And this is not gonna be all done today. Yeah, so we'll probably do about maybe five more missions today. And then that'll be it for today. And then 
I might try and like nickel and diamond throughout the week. We'll see how uh, tired I am after work. Yeah. Cause most days when I get home from work now, I'm just like incapacitated and I just want to go back to bed. Um, I mean, Reverend Swanson's gonna need to get done, so we'll go do him first. Hello, Reverend. <clears throat> Reverend? <clears throat> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. <clears throat> I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? <laughs> New York. We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of... Commotion, and then we did. Hold on. Oh, I'll get something really quick. Accept. Close. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, fine. Pardon me for interrupting. Hello. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch, this is Eagle Flash. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we uh, attended the mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see. That. So next week I'm off Wednesday, yeah, Thursday again. And I have money. <sighs> Put your money away, son. <sighs> what do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah. Arthur, we must go with them. Try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. All right, so it looks like I'm off Wednesday, Thursday again. So, uh, worst case, Wednesday will be the next time I, uh, I know. I finish this. Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We've got enough yeah, folks play. coming after us. Without that an army, this is walk all over you? No. You're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. 
I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Yeah, you're all right, girl. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion, now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkertons' assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. His men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. I'm gonna get you. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, board it. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. <laughs> we'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. There we go. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Good night. Wait, did I just break his neck? I don't think that's uh, stealth. Pretty sure that's just murder. What the hell? We're taking 
back. What's ours? I'm gonna pull your head off. Yeah, you wanna do it? We can't let that last one get away. I'll do it without killing him. Bye. Boys, go find out about those horses down below. Parker, deal with that anchor. Sure. Yeet. Oh, I was gonna eat myself off. Aren't you dealing with the anchor? Um. Yeah, you can say that. I mean, I'm not. I want to die, but... Wait, did that horse just kill itself? Oh no, they're, they're walking. Okay. But I'd be like, boy, they're just suiciding to stay away. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Over here, come on. Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... Oh, wow. Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Sure. You? Uh, no. I just can't get any more involved in this business, Charles. It's it's not my fight. You head on back to camp, check on the others, Dutch's behaviors. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Bye, I love you. That horse is stupid. All the horses are stupid. Except for mine. Mine's a female named Frank, so that's pretty neat. Alright, where's
Where are we going? Uh, is it just Micah right now? Yes. Van Horn. There's no train there. Move, Charles, you fat whore. Follow that guy and kill him. Well, this is like our dude. How you doing? How did I? How did I even manage to do that? All right, where's Micah? Oh, there he is, it's on the porch. What's up, Micah? Ah, there he is. Mika. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was All right, followed? asshole. Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. She's wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was looking Take at uh, shit cowboy. for my case. You're gonna do yourself my a LED, the LED right flashing. Like and apparently it's the red from an... Uh, Dutch uh, says we used to go on with plans to create uh, was the hard drive light, but I don't have a hard drive unless it's just counting the, the storage unit light. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too I have much no idea. what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he Kill it, yeah. Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got My main money. worry Black is uh, the power button just not everyone working. Knows. Like and then I had to play to replace the case. Arthur. I guess I could just replace the cables, the right? Same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding, which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Yeah. Yes, we have. Yeah, I just had to replace the cables, right? I wouldn't be that bad. It's just really annoying. You could do with a vacation. You have two new emotes pending? Hell yeah, dude. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, the uh, Colby one, and uh, what was the other one? So I saw you working on the Colby one last night. Bird. I need to get more sub points so I can uh, I'm taking orders from Dutch. get another little potato. Apparently, I'm becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Mm. Let's head off. Mm. So, you were saying? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Yeah, you always give me your prime. I have you and then uh, my friend Selena. She's been subbed for fucking literally ever. So, oh, I think I remember this mission. Wagon will come from that way. I think. Down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, oh. and I'll take care of you. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. Sounds good to me. I got that. Oh, that's them coming now. <sighs> it'll be a wide show. Oh, gotta get up here. Wait, what? 
You were... <laughs> you were spotted? What? Where the fuck was I? Am I supposed to go... Oh, I'm supposed to go in here. Oh. Alright. Yeah, I just really want to get this game done so I can delete it off my fucking uh, computer. It's like 120 gigs. So I want to get it uh, beaten and done. And then I need to do um, Matt or uh, Metro Exodus and finish that up again so I can delete that because that's about like another 100 gigs. And then I'll actually have a computer again. I had a lot of storage after I deleted uh, Black Ops 4 and um, Modern Warfare. Oh wow. You have 7 gigs left? Holy shit. Oh, you only have what, a terabyte though? I want to get an 8 ter a terabyte uh, M.2, but Savannah won't let me spend $1,400 on it. $500 and $250? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, your $250 is what? An M.2? And then the other one's just an SSD. Both are M dots. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw an eight terabyte uh, M dot two for uh, for fourteen hundred on Amazon, and Savannah was like, "No." I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, because I still have one slot on my uh, PC that I can put it, uh, an M.2. I also just found out that uh, my PC can store six hard drives. Or I can fit three SSDs and uh, six. So now I have two more slots, I think, for SSDs. Or I'm dots, maybe. I have to actually look at my manual because I was looking at uh, the case. So they have enough room for three SSDs and then two S M dots and then six hard drives. I can fit so much shit on my fucking computer. Or my case. Yeah, I was looking at my case shit all morning. Like the time I woke up, I saw it doing that. I was like, God damn it. Yeah, you don't really play like a ton of games. You play like the same games consistently, so you don't really like cycle through them like I do. Where I constantly need to have like eight to ten games installed at least. Yeah, you've been pl you're playing Call of Duty for fucking ever, and then now you're on your little Valorant kick. Go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good Excuse work. me? What's going on? Listen. I know we ain't always seen eye to eye. I mean, no, you're an asshole. Find me irritating. Uh, Barry? Not a threat. 
Right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, my kid. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Are you ever going to, like, really invest into your computer or just kind of, like, have it exist for a little while? So that's what Trelawney. You haven't decided yet? Yeah. Sadie. Oh, am I? Oh, I have the bounty there. Well, I can make a decision. Yeah. Yeah, once I um, see how prices fluctuate when the new GPUs and the next generation of processors come out is when I'll decide if I'm going to like build another computer. Otherwise, I'm just going to kind of hang out. I'm really sad, like, the 30 series and the uh, AMD, what is that, the uh, 6000 series for AMD isn't, uh, they're not even, like, really available. Same problem the Series X is having. And those shortages for the Series X and PS5 are supposed to last till June. So that's going to be really, really annoying. Apparently, Micro Center got a, a shipment of uh, 60. It was either 6800 or 6800 XTs, and then they got a couple 30 series, and my friend got one of them. One of the uh, 30 series, so that's pretty neato. Hey. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Good on you. Get a fresh start. I wish I had the money, Sam. Everywhere you go. Sam. Y'all right there, sir? Yes. Why? Been some grip going around here. And I just thought, uh Ah, you know what? Never mind. Tax is on it, but I don't know yet. Yeah. See if we get another stimmy, yeah. If I get that, I'm definitely going to be getting a uh, new monitor. Get a uh, 165 hertz. And then probably, honestly, just save the rest. Just build a whole new, like, rig? Or, like, upgrade? So I'm assuming your processor is still because you have what an i7 so your processor isn't even like terrible yeah but with the new AMDs I might as well build a new one yeah yeah and then you could just sell the parts from your old build Trying to get reimbursed for it a little bit. The next one I build might be a uh, an AMD. Just kind of get both. Talk to Trelawney. Who are you? Just me. Hope you gone. Ready to marry, Arthur. Evening. Uh, Karen. How are you feeling? <coughs> You 
okay, friend? Never better. I'm fucking great, dog. Dutch. Hello, Harold. You're breaking his heart. You know that. Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? No. <laughs> but I know. Stop right. troll on me. I, um, I was... A fine uh, art of conversation. Yeah. Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. I'll go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Well, that's Josiah gone. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Hello. Sir, how can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. <sighs> Perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I've got... I've saved your life. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. <laughs> Yo, sure. come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Well, so you have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of those Luna accounts just on my thing right now. None of them are even accounts anymore except for, I think, the first one, the newest one. For doing this, both of you. Ain't oh, you're welcome. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I'm not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Uh, perhaps. There's an army captain, Lyndon Monroe, who was seconded here from a regiment in the north, sent by Washington. A good man. He'll be at the meeting and he knows the true situation. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement.
I'm pretty sure we just spent more most of our time just riding from location to location at this point. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Hi. Let's go, friends. Watch out. Eat ass. This way. Slow it down. Go, rainfalls. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? Brass. They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh, <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... <coughs> you okay, man? Someone. No. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Hey, Jackson. Chief Rains. It's quite a cough. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced it's something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. But removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. His whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. Sad. Sad. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Negotiate Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel. That it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him 
go. This is all getting out of hand. All right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Hi. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Fuck. Uh, so that backfired. They uh just unloaded on the man. I don't kill this man. But shall I kill you? Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Let him go now. Get off me. Don't be dumb. Out this way. Come on. Bye. Now, Oh my god, oh my god, land a shot, please, you idiot. It's okay, I'll kill enough of them for everybody. Bye. Horse, come back. Monroe, please get on the fucking horse. I'm good. I'm okay. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I. 
Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Kevin Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. We take you and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to sand and knee, jump on a boat. We'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Forever? Forever. What are you doing here? I'm... I'm leaving. Running away. I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I try to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I mean, yeah, he's not wrong. Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. Well, thanks. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. Thank you. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental. Bye, Reverend. The fine art of conversation. Who's that? Oh, is that uh, John? Yeah. Right, so let's see where are we at. We might do this one for John and then the one for Sadie. And then that might be. Walk through. Uh, oh, I might have skipped the three missions. We've got one, two, three, four, ten more missions. So, yeah. We'll either end after this one with John or we'll end after the one with Sadie. That way the next stream's like a solid still full stream.
We'll see how I feel after this mission. Sorry, man. What you think you're doing? You're done. Oh yeah? <laughs> well, Mr. Horsey, come back. It's okay, Mr. Horsey. We might, let's try and rest and see if that helps our health core at all. Oh my god. Green horses now? I'll just fuck the horses. Sleep. <laughs> sleep till night. Sleep 16 hours. Dude, I wish I could sleep 16 hours. That'd be fucking lit, dog. I've also been getting more into the Call of Duty Zombies now again. Yep, fuck it. Health core is full. How long it lasts will be different. I've been having a lot of fun with zombies again. I haven't even played the new map, and I'm still just enjoying it again. I'm about to get the uh, gold AK. I think I need like I need to finish getting to level 50, and then I need to do the challenges, and then that's it. I think all the challenges I have unlocked, I have done. So I'll need, what is it, um, uh, 10 kills without getting hit, like, 20 times. And then, I forgot the oh, last one. It might be, like, long shots or some shit. I don't know. Or it might just be kills. I don't know if I got that one unlocked yet. Are you working, Steven? Or are you just playing Valorant? Or are you off today? Because I've been seeing you been on Valorant all day. Fuck you, wolves. Oh, fuck you. You're working? Hell yeah, proud of you. Also, I like how you're able to work and still watch streams. Nervous? That's the fucking life. I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think of that jail. And I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You know, I Easy peasy, know. yeah. This plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like you're stringing us along, I know. 
<sighs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or, well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? The loyalty what matter. Have you played any Call of Duty lately, Steven? Or are you just on that Valorant kick still? Do it for me. It would make me feel... So see, the this battle pass, or season or whatever you want to call it, is almost Listen. over. I know your battle pass is probably a long past build. Don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. Have you been playing ranked on Valorant or just the uh well, it looks like we're finally their casual finally format for it? Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. Ranked today? Hell yeah. So, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Have you finished your placement matches? Here's good. Did you find out what you're getting for your rank? We sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. Right. <laughs> you're in bronze one? Hell yeah. Is that the lowest, or is there, like, iron? Like, is iron, how would iron be higher than bronze? Or am I just dumb? There's iron? I think three levels of iron below bronze. Oh, okay. So you're at least you're not the like the lowest of the low. Yeah, the only rank thing I did was uh Halo 5. Which I I was actually okay and I think I got like I don't know diamond or whatever. It was like the second highest from the top. Alright, come down here and help me plant this stuff. I can only get it in fucking SWAT. That was a generate. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Did you and Dan both get the same rank, I'm guessing? Excuse me? He's one tier lower? Oh, okay. Hell yeah. I need to get ready better with keyboard and mouse before I even attempt to uh, play anything like that. I'll just spend an entire year playing. Uh, 
Call of Duty on a uh, keyboard and mouse, and then I'll be tolerable. Or I'll bash my head in with a bat, so we'll see. Kendra with the 41 months. Holy shit. What a waste of time. Thank you. No, oh, go away, Mr. Train. Leave me alone. Stop it, Thomas. <laughs> Yeehaw. Fuck you, Train. Fuck you, Thomas. But well, thank you. I appreciate the sub, as always. 41 months, four years. No Holy shit. Yeah, well, you gotta think. So, yeah, some of those were tier two. Let's go blow this thing up. So a lot of wasted time and money. That's like a lot. You've almost, you've single-handedly gave me over two full uh, Twitch payouts. Oh, I abandoned John. That ran away. I don't. The emote nobody's ever had. Where is it? There it is. Nobody's ever had it besides me. My favorite emote of all time. I still use it on a fucking daily basis. Such a good emote. Is that a chat? Yeah. 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 You. You. You all tier three. Don't waste your money. Don't fucking waste your money. Don't. Don't waste your money. Alright, Thomas. This is for trying to kill me, dog. Yeah, if you tier 3 sub to me, you're basically just wasting a, uh, uh, a lot of, like, a lot of money. Maybe at month 60. No, month 59. Your 60th month has to be tier 3. Yes, we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand. Yeah, the 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 only person I tier one to is Brown Man, just because he's like my what about like Lloyd? side time stream Everything whenever I get time, and then Megan whenever she pops up as tier two. Yeah, my man crush, my love. Well, I knew. <laughs> Your man crush, I get it. Yeah. Well, not anymore, John. Oh shit. You gotta go. Oh. Go. Go. Go, John. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. John, go. John, run. Thomas tried killing us. For an idea that don't work no more. Fucking Thomas. Hey, me. You know just what I I'm gonna get a game. I'm gonna see if there's a train conductor simulator and just crash them into each other. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? Well, I need a vacation. And Dutch. Alrighty. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it as always. You're the best. Enjoy your uh, your food or something. I'm still waiting for my pizza. She might know where some of that money is. Good luck, have fun. I always forget that's a thing. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what. Twitch being wholesome. <laughs> where? I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah. Bye. Love you.
We'll do uh, Sadie's really quick. That'll leave, uh, what? Eight missions, I think. Are you going to pass out? Do it. Do it. Finally do it. Oh my god, can I fast travel? Let me fast travel. The bridge to nowhere. Yeah, like my, um, every time I fucking mention it, it does it. Like it knows. Um, but my power switch hasn't l the flash, so. I think I'm done having to be worried about it. I need to take my case apart and I won't, because I want to change my fan color, so I might look at it. Who's was that? Your mother? Yes, no. All right. Can I hold, hold the bumper? Thank you. Huh? Okay, you're gonna go get it? Fast travel. Oh, Ansberg. Aha, no, no. Not Van Horn, Ansberg. This game is so fucking gorgeous, though. Are we finally here? From our long trip of not going anywhere? Oh, you fucking suck. Oh, it's in San Denis. Fuck, I'm stupid. God damn, I'm dumb. Whatever. It cut a little bit of the journey of uh, going down. Now we just go straight. I'm now at my minimum weight. Hold on. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get fat. No, not a stable. Go to a fucking saloon. I'll smash on food. I'll spend twelve dollars and eat a thousand fucking burgers. I'll eat until I throw up. Fucking try me. Hey, you're okay. Yeah, so we'll do this one. This one will probably put it at almost three hours anyway. Hello. There we go. Hey, he's not coming up here.
Alright. We're gonna go to the saloon. We're gonna get fat as fuck. And then we're gonna go talk to uh, Sadie. Oh, is that a fence? Holy shit, I haven't seen a fence in fucking weeks. Hey, move. You put that gun back now. Okay. Okay, okay. Keep your hair off. Just try being funny with me again. <laughs> Just try being funny. Where's the Is this the fence? Hey. Hello. Come on in. See the wolf skin by the back door. The hairy beggar was waiting in here for me one morning. Can't bear to part with it now. All right, let's have a wee look. Oh, fuck. I forgot I still have this thing. Well, well, look at this wee timepiece. German, eh? That'll go for a part. Yeah, yeah, it's German, all right. High roller revolver, huh? No, I'm okay. Thanks, partner. Bye, man. Thanks for the money. I'm gonna go spend it on fucking steak and burgers. On, Are burgers invented yet? Probably, right? Oh god, they're all attacking. Oh, you're gonna fucking obliterate me. Drown myself! Kill me! There's so many of you, just fucking end me. I'm literally standing still. I'm literally standing still. Thank you. Thank you. Kill me! Literally murder me. Fuck. Thank you. A hundred and four dollars, huh? Holy shit. Oh, you ain't from around here, Morning. are ya? Hey. What let me? Food. Lamb's heart. heart. We get fat. Barkeep. Mister. Morning to you. Why are you all fucking you any more help Hello, from you? gentlemen? Morning, mister. Good morning, hey, sir. Friend. Good Good morning, morning, sir. I ain't looking for trouble, I assure you. I need another round Thanks. of your finest lamb's heart. Hell, mister, you look like I feel. Are you alright? I'm getting there. Good. Alright. Player. Arthur, how's my health? I'm underweight. All right, we're gonna eat a lot. Morning to you. Give me your finest lamb's heart, please. Can I get a meal? <laughs> hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on.
Hey, Steven, are you still here? Are you still in the chat? I got some funny news. You're still here. Let me know. Alright, I need another order of your finest lamb heart to celebrate. I like the lamb's heart. Sounds real interesting. I mean, it's a lamb's heart. I don't know what could be confused about it. Alright. <laughs> Am I still underweight? I, I, I have eaten three of your finest lamb's heart. Holy shit, that's amazing. All right. Did you tell uh, Kyle? Yeah. All right. I'm still underweight. Uh, I'm dying right now, so. We're going to eat one more, see if we puke. And if we don't, then we're going to go back to our normal, normal shit. That's really fucking funny. So, update. One of the most annoying, egotistical, dumb people I've ever worked with just quit my job, and I'm really fucking happy about it. So, that's that's the news, Steven, if you're still here. The uh, the dumb, dumb McGee that uh, we were telling you about that uh, didn't know what cheeses were what. Thank you, uh, the one I was saying handed out the wrong order. Handed out one out of 12 items. Uh, he quit. <laughs> so yeah, that was the news. It's really funny. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the uh, turn of events that just happened. Uh, I'm gonna buy my coworker a fucking house for that. If that's why. Literally, we were all praying for it at this point. And I mean, I'd be more upset. Like, God fucking damn it. Are you gonna attack me? Oh no, you're dead. Oh no, you're dead. I gotta go. No, not you. I gotta go. G gotta go. Later. Um, I don't really have, like, employees after, like, 10 o'clock. So it's fine. Uh, I'll suffer. <laughs> I'll suffer. I don't care. He was the worst employee I probably had in like three and a half years. Next to uh, we had I had this one guy. He would uh, I'm not gonna give names. Um, I mean it's not like it really matters, but you know, he would stand in the window and just talk on his phone. While he was working, and it was really funny. Yeah, good girl. It's really funny though. I'm okay with it. Okay, girl. All right, so yeah, we'll finish up the Sadie quest, and then I'm probably gonna head out and go play uh, Call of Duty or something. That'll probably what I do for the rest of my day. I might make some uh, Creeper World videos just for the funsies of it. See how those go. That was the first Creeper World One was the first game I ever maxed out on uh, on Steam. I went out of my way to completely max that game out. Yeah. 
problems for the blind. God? I'm not paying attention right now because I'm just like spaced out trying to get to the objective. Oh my god, I fucking was holding my right bumper. What's up, Dutch? Goodbye, dear friend. Let's go away. Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Alright, so... I don't know if we did the Honor Amongst Thieves one yet, but that one might be next. But if the, that's the case, if we're already done with it, we'll have six missions left for uh, the next time I stream. Which is why, despite his being <sighs> wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him on to the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves in this, in this. Come on. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah, don't you go on the roof and like, do, don't you shoot him or just make sure nobody like saves him? We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch sway. Oh yeah, the O'Driscolls killed her husband. I mean, I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband. Yeah. I'm so lucky. Yeah. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cole. Yeah. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Oh. Sorry, I saw a Discord had my notification, so I was cool. checking to see if there was really? a message. Well, you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours... I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? See that pair of assholes? Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. Why is my screen freaking out? Yeah, right. 
No, oh, my fucking PC case is doing it again. Maybe? Let's go. Quiet. Maybe it is. I did it like once and then stopped. Up on the roof. But once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas through a building, maybe, and get him. You got it, man. Do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Um, I'll ladder right here. Oh, perfect. Here's a ladder. There's a shooter down. Um, oh, this way. This? Oh, there's the shooter bag. Oh, hey, man. Fuck out of here. Bye. 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 Oh, is this the Carcana? Yeah. For as long as any of us can... Be done. Love you. Remember, it is you that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For some time, the man is so savage. The only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Black. 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 Is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Right in the dick. Today, justice wow. catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Don't sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. Yeah, he realizes that he's going to actually die. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Moldrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Bye. Now you know how it feels to watch something you love die. You ruined my life. Oh god. If you can hear me, shoot some of these old friends schools. Call on these gotta have a bunch. Right in the darts. Bye, love you.
Rip calm. And Colm is finally dead. That's the end of that. Good job, Frank. Good job, female Frank. How you get on, Arthur? Uh, Colm's dead, so, you know. Saw the bastard hang okay, but... Yeah, he's dead. No thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end... Homo Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? Oh, it's her wedding ring. Or his wedding ring? My dear Arthur, I don't know if you received the letter I wrote to you from San Denis a while back. It was foolish of me to ask for your help again, and... I promise there will be no. Bye, Mary. And accomplishment. You completed goodbye to your friend. Holmes dead. He died. That's it. All right. So, where are we going? Oh, yeah. Eagle flies. We have a couple more missions with eagle flies. And that's really the game, honestly. Um, but yeah. That's going to be it for the stream today. I might stream later. If I stream later, it'll probably be like Gears 5 Horde or something. I don't know if I'll play this anymore tonight. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Take it easy, guys.